Hey guys, welcome back to the StarCast Joker Marks podcast YouTube channel. Um, I am Ryan, I'm the host of StarCast Joker Marks for the official Dallas Stars podcast on the Hockey Podcast Network. But today we're talking about Nick Suzuki and the contract that he just signed with the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, this kicks in next season, so he's still on his uh, original uh, entry-level deal. Um, he's 22 years old. He signed for eight years for an average annual value of $7.875 million dollars per year. So this is going to keep him in Montreal till the 29-2030 season. That sounds crazy. That's that's a long time. It's making me feel a little old. Um, he's entering his uh, third season. He had 41 points in 56 games last season. And uh, originally he was drafted by the Golden Knights in 2017. He was 13th overall. But of course, we all know that he was traded to Montreal in exchange for for Max Pacioretty in back in 2018. So, and there were other pieces of that trade, but those were the two big pieces. Nick Suzuki going to Montreal, Max Pacioretty going to uh, Vegas. Um, I think eventually that Vegas is really going to regret this trade. Now, right now, is it, let's assume that they win a cup this season. It'll be fine. They, they won't regret this trade because they get their cup. But uh, definitely, you know, over the next decade uh, with... Nick Suzuki being the 1C for Montreal, I think they're really going to eventually regret it. Um, I think he's probably... I, I don't know what he can get this this season. Um, I, I would at least pencil an M for 20 goals, maybe 30, um, maybe around the 70-point mark-ish. I, I, think he could, I think he could get there. Um, so I, I think the big reason why they wanted to sign this contract now, uh, the Montreal Canadiens, if you're looking at it from Mark Bergevin's standpoint, is, uh, you know, you've already lost your Sperry, Kot, Ken, Yemi. Uh, you know, Shea Weber is out. Uh, Carey Price is out because he entered the player assistance program. Um, it, it would just be nice for Montreal to have a little bit of good news. And uh, this is the good news that they, they've they been looking for, right? So uh, it's going to be really interesting to see Montreal over the next uh decade or so, assuming they sign Caulfield, uh, to see Caulfield and Suzuki uh, as the team's uh, two-thirds of their first line for the next, you know, 10, 15 years. Uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, I think he will uh, live up to the deal. I think he'll be okay. Um, there's some question as to what Mark Bergerman is expecting him from him this season. I kind of already talked about that, you know, you know, 20 goals, maybe 60 points, something like that. But uh, since this contract doesn't even kick in until uh, next season, uh, whatever he gets, I, I think he'll eventually get to the point to where that contract is really worth it. So uh, I'm really excited to see where uh, Nick Suzuki uh, goes from here. I mean, I think he's going to be a great uh, 1C center for the Montreal Canadiens. He's going to be their leader for a long time. Uh, maybe even the possible next captain for the Montreal Canadiens. So... Uh, We'll see how that goes for them. Um, but let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about this signing. Obviously, I hope you think that this is a good signing. And uh, just let me know what you expect from Nick Suzuki this season. 20 goals? 30 goals? 40 goals? I think that's kind of pushing it. But, you know, 70 points, 60 points, whatever you think. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the flip side. Thanks for tuning in.